Point mounting insects is a very important technique, very important preparation technique. Since most insects are small, uh, understanding point mounting and doing a good job at it is very important. First thing you need is some good paper. We use a, an archival quality two-ply Bristol board. This paper is guaranteed to last a long time. And a commercially available point punch designed specifically for punching insect points. Uh, they, these point punches come in a number of styles, but most, but they're very similar. What you want to make sure you get is a very fine tip on the points that it's that that's produced that are produced. Once you have your points, they need to go on the pins at a uniform height. They should be pinned at the, in the center of the base. Uh, and uh, what we do is re we literally line up hundreds of these at a time and again pin in the center of the base. Most pinning blocks you would use the uppermost level of the pinning block as your height for the points. That helps give you a nice standard uniform appearance to your collection and also gives you nice uniform specimens for your collection and that's, uh, that helps in, in keeping the specimens safe when you're handling them. So the first step is to make yourself up a number of points. There are some special tricks to point mounting successfully. Most people believe that point mounting is particularly difficult, but actually it's quite easy one, with a little practice. You don't really need any special types of glue to do point mounting. Uh, some of the common, most common used glues for, for point mounting insects is just Elmer's and uh, any kind of clear nail polish. There are more specialized types of adhesives uh, that many of, many of the specialists use. Generally, I apply a little bit of Elmer's to an open surface so that it begins to dry. The critical thing in point mounting is making sure that the tip of the point is fashioned appropriately for the type of insects that you're point mounting. I have done this so much that I do it without thinking, so let me take you through that one more time. Hold the point by holding the base of the point. Using your fingernail, modify the tip of the point so that it's bent downward and will fit against the insect's body in the appropriate place. Pick up a little bit of glue, pick out your target, roll it upside down, get it into the appropriate position. You want to apply the glue, the tip of the point, to the right side of the insect, about in the middle of the thorax region. Give it a little bump, make sure it's glued on there straight. One more time, hold the point, Modify the tip, pick up a little glue, pick out your target, apply the glue, the tip of the point, to the appropriate place on the insect's body, then bump him into position. When point mounting, the most important thing to keep into consideration is you want to keep the midline of the underside of the insect clear of glue. You don't want to cover that. The insect has only one midline, and if that's covered, you won't be able to see the particular detail that's on the specimen at that, at that part of the body. It's a little easier to see if we draw this on paper. This is a dorsal view of your bug. You want the point to come in at approximately the shoulder region, this being the head of the pin, you want to attach to the insect at the shoulder region. Now, here's the most important thing. Imagine we take a cross section of that insect right there. The in insect has depth. You want the point to come in and to be bent down and attach to the actual side of the insect. This black spot here represents the glue. You notice that the midline of the underside is not covered up by the glue, and that's the most important 
aspect of, of point mounting insects is to keep the midline clear.